Well, now the ever-increasing cost of power and an investigation that goes right to the top. Information we've uncovered suggests the main reason your bills have skyrocketed isn't the carbon tax, but new poles and wires companies insist on building and make you pay for, even when they're not needed. It's a national scandal, a system gone mad. Families and pensioners like Tina are the biggest victims. Not only has she seen her quarterly power bill go up by 18% like so many others, on top of that, power company Osgrid is asking for her to pay thousands of dollars more for what they call upgrades to the infrastructure around her house. It's going to cost at least three and a half grand to move the, the electricity box change the point of connection, connect it up to a pole, and, and then we find out the other day that they want us to pay for the disconnect and reconnect crew, which will probably bring it up to about $5,000. Why are Aussies being hit so hard with electricity bills when in reality demand is plummeting? It hit me like a steam train. City slicker turned farmer Bruce Robertson knows a turkey when he sees one. Transgrid, one of the biggest power companies in the country, had its eye on his land to build poles and wires. The company argued more infrastructure was urgently needed to cope with a forecast of rising demand. But Bruce felt something didn't add up. Oh yeah, well the blue line is the actual figures, what has actually occurred since the year 2000 in demand and you can see there that the demand has clearly turned down. That's right, electricity demand has plummeted especially over the past 12 months. Transgrid is using industry figures that forecast demand will grow over the next decade. But Bruce, like so many others, says those figures are too optimistic, believing they need to be revised down. The industry says demand is rising when in fact it's not. So, if demand is going down, why do electricity companies keep building? Well, it's pretty simple. They get paid for what they build, not for what we need. For each one of those they put up, the government slings them a massive subsidy and they slug you for the construction through your electricity bill. It's a win-win for them. Win for them. We, at the moment, do the equivalent of building a 10-lane freeway where two lanes of it are only used one weekend a year. The PM says the incentives are all wrong. Because the more they invest in the poles and wires, then the greater the dividends they get. It's like in any business, if you're paid for just the sheer amount of work you do rather than for your efficiency, there will, you'll have a tendency uh, to just do work for work's sake. Right. Gold plating uh, is responsible for unnecessary price rises. I mean, in the old days of the State Electricity Commission, the old grey cardigan State Electricity Commission, you would not have seen 18% price rises a year on year because heads would have rolled. The prices cannot keep going up at the rate that the, that the industry themselves are forecasting them to go up because people cannot afford the product. It is that simple.